Hello, thank you so much, BDM. I'm joined by Hall of Fame elect Josh Utter Layton, and I remember you're the Max, the Mox online champion this year, and you told That's me right. you're like, I'm so excited to win this tournament, <laughs> but I'm also super excited to qualify for Worlds. Why is this tournament so important to you? Uh, this is the best Magic tournament of the year. You get to play against all the best players, and I just love competing in this. It's uh, such a unique experience from everything else, and uh, yeah, I just want to compete against the best. Well, you are one of the best, and you've brought Blue Black Control. Can you tell us just generally why you chose this deck for this tournament? Uh, I chose this deck because Search for Ascanta is a broken card. I, I, there's no other way to say it. This card is just really, really absurd. Uh, and is the entire reason to play the deck. All right, well, let's take a look here at your creatures in your deck. Who needs more than two? Tell me a little bit about these. Well, <laughs> these are how you actually win the game. Uh, they're, they're unfortunate that you have to actually do that. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> I just wouldn't bother. <laughs> Classic control player right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gear Hulk is kind of the staple of blue control decks ever since it got printed. It's been the like reason to play these decks for so long. Uh, it's just everything you want. It gives you the flexibility of lining up your kind of narrowish answers to exactly what uh, your opponent's presenting you with and pre provides you with an actual like large flash finisher, just perfect for what Control wants at the top end. And Scarab God is a newer addition to the blue Control shell. This is what... Gear, Gear Hulk isn't enough to give you inevitability against most decks. Most decks can just kind of kill it and move on with their lives, and you're not actually able to, like... Make sure you have inevitability against everybody with just Gear Hulk. That's what Scarab God does. That's how you win like every single long game. Is once there's a Gear Hulk in your graveyard, you play a Scarab God, have activation up. That that, that that's the point where the game is over. All right. Well, it wouldn't be a control deck without counter spells. Tell us a little bit about your counter suite here. Yeah. So the two mana counters are super important because there's no two mana removal <laughs> that you can really <laughs> play in the format. So this is your two mana removal. As in Scatter, just turns out is the best Doom Blade in the format. So they're playing four of those and uh, sensor. <laughs> sensor is just again necessary because you need two mana interaction. Um, you're just trying to go one for one with your opponents all through the early game while hitting land drops, and uh, that's what all of these spells are accomplishing. And a complete four of of each of these cards mm -hmm. as well. Let's take a look at your removal suite. Yeah, so the removal options are uh, pretty limited. You're going to play four f Fatal Push, definitely. Uh, Frasca's Contempt is a little pricey, um, and you can definitely run into issues with paying more mana than the threats that you're answering with it. Uh, the extra life helps with that, but uh, it's kind of a necessary card to play with. And then Essence Extraction is not a good magic card, um, <laughs> but it's, it's the best we got. So we just needed some more cheap answers. That's, that's what we're stuck with. How critical is the exile here on Frasca's Contempt? Uh, less important in this deck than elsewhere because this deck uh, just has essence scatters and other counter spells for dealing with Scarab God. Um, against us, it's really important for dealing with yes. Scarab God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some ways that you get card advantage here. We've got Glimmer of Genius, just a single copy, Hieroglyphic Illumination, and your favorite card. And a lot of people at this tournament are telling me they love this card. Search for Escanta. Yeah. Um, so normally you would have to play a bunch of Glimmer of Geniuses to actually get ahead. And that's a problem because the deck plays so poorly from behind that spending a turn taking, not interacting with your opponent is a huge cost, uh, in, in especially like turn four. Um, search changes that. You no longer have to play a bunch of these. Illumination, we're playing four, but we're mostly cycling them, especially if, a if we have a search because you just flip your search sooner. Uh, so th this is kind of the backup in case you don't have search. If you do have search, it, you just get to get rid of it for free, basically. Um, and then, yeah, search is your inevitability engine that gives you lots and lots of cards. All right, let's take a look at your lands here. Here we've got your dual lands, and we've got three copies of Field of Ruin, another, another new card. What is this doing in here? This is because search for Azkanta is really good, uh, and <laughs> it's very important in the, contro con in the control mirrors. So we, we are playing three of those to be able to kill our opponents. All right, let's take a look at the basics that you're running. Pretty straightforward here. Six Island, five Swamp. All right, moving on to your sideboard. Let's take a look at what you're packing to deal with the rest of the field. So this is the control package uh, slide. Um, we have a lot of stuff against creatures in the main deck, a lot, of, a lot of stuff against spells in the sideboard, and then uh, the fourth field, again, for dealing with the flip lands, and then a couple more uh, kind of search for Azkanta replacements, <laughs> if you will. Sure. Uh, they fulfill a similar role. All right, we've got one more look at your sideboard here to round things out. Contraband, Kingpin, another copy of Essence Extraction, and Vizier of Many Faces. Yeah, so these are the four cards for mono red and aggressive decks, and then Vizier is uh, particularly nice against all of the green decks that have a bunch of value creatures. Uh, once those hit play, 
uh, you have a nice effect, effect to get value from their value, guys. And it's also a clean answer to Bristling Hydra and Carnage Tyrant. So overall, how fun is this deck to play? Is this your style? Uh, not really, actually. I prefer decks that play different kinds of games, like uh, Fairies and Jeskai. Uh, those have been some of my favorite decks. Um, but I, I enjoy drawing cards, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sign me up. As we all do. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Josh Utter-Layton. Good luck to you in the rest of the tournament. Thanks. Awesome. High five. Yeah. <laughs> Great job.